Well, we welcome in the quarterback, Dylan Riola. It's been a crazy long journey and process for you. Congratulations. You're officially a Husker. Take me through the process and, and your decision and how you ended up back with the Huskers over the weekend. Yeah, thank you for having me on the show. Um, you know, first, you know, Nebraska, I always believed it was in my blood. It was in my heart um, for a long time. And, um, you know, I just felt that I could be a part of something special that would be bigger than myself. And, um, you know, Lincoln, Nebraska is a, a great place. And the University of Nebraska is is a special place to, um, you know, have a, have a college experience and, you know, play sports with, you know, some of the best fans. How has it been getting to know Coach Rule and this coaching staff? What did you see and like out of what the direction that they had in place there in their first season? I love what I, what I have seen so far. Um, I think the thing that separates Coach Rule from a lot of people um, is just the way he connects with his players. Um, and I think that's huge to, you know, for a team like Nebraska, you connect with your players. You, you can really have a bigger purpose for playing um, on the football field than just, all right, I want to go play football. You know, you, you look left, you look right, you want to play for those guys. And I think that's what Coach Will does a great job of, of establishing and, and you know, uh, having his guys ready to play on, on Saturday night. Love that. Well, you've made several trips to Lincoln. You've been to multiple sporting events. You had the crowd chanting your name. You've taken pictures with babies. And I'm sure your, your social media has just been blown up. Uh, what does it mean to you have to, the, ha to have the kind of reaction and reception from Husker Nation? I think it just goes to show how much, you know, they know their sports, you know, not just their football, um, but they know all their sports. They know their volleyball. They know basketball, women's basketball, softball. I just think it shows that, you know, you have you have a great fan base that, you know, you, you look forward to, to playing for. Um, and and just they're, they're going to be there and support you through the ups and downs. And, and you know, you, you've seen that since, you know, since Nebraska has came up on the map. You know, they sell out Memorial Stadium every single game. And I think and that, that speaks to, you know, the kind of fans and, you know, they have, they have a they have a you know a lot of fun coming to the Nebraska events. In this 2024 signing class, there are a number of legacies whose dads played for this program. What does ne Nebraska, the N, what does it mean to you? Yeah, I think it, it means, you know, a lot more than just football. I think it's nationwide. Um, and I think it's special that you get to, you know, wear that, that N on your helmet with the red stripe down the middle and know that you're representing something you know, more than just that team that year, but all the people that came before you and laid that foundation, you know, with Coach Osborne, Coach Solich, you know, and all those coaches that came up through to help, you know, keep Nebraska and, and leave Nebraska where it's at right now. You come from a very tight-knit family, of course. Uh, you know, your relationship with, with Donovan, who's on staff here, is, has been reported on how close you guys are. Uh, how excited are you to get to be on the same team as him, to get to work with him and his offensive line that, hey, boy, they made lots of improvements. A lot of those guys are coming back. How exciting is that for you? I think it's super exciting. You know, family is huge in, in my culture. You know, the Hawaiian Polynesian culture, I think, is huge. So I think to have him on the staff is awesome. But, you know, to the O-line's credit, I think it's, that's a special relationship that not a lot of people understand. You know, the, the O-line, they get they don't get a lot of credit, and they get the most hate. So, I, you know, I think it's they need to make sure that they're loved up the most and, you know, that that they're valued and, you know, that, that I make sure I take care of them. Oh, that's awesome. So how did you get into playing quarterback? Why quarterback? And, and what went into you becoming the nation's best quarterback? I think it was, it's, it's not just what, I, what I've done. You know, it's the sacrifices my parents have made to, to get me to training. Um, and I think quarterback's a unique position. You know, I'm very strong in my faith. And I, and I believe, you know, strongly that, that God's put me in this position to, you know, spread his word and then spread his kingdom throughout um, you know, the whole world. So I, I think that's a, that's a special platform that I have. But, you know, I think it, it's bigger than it's bigger than just, you know, being the nation's top quarterback. I think it, it's the relationships you, you build along the way and, and how you, you know, you can meet so many cool people that, you know, hey, you, don't, you might not think you're going to 
meet up with them, but you know you end up doing that. So I think football is a great game. It it always comes full circle, and and it's a great opportunity. You know, it's the ultimate team game. Oh, I love that. Great, great answer there. So you know, there's a lot of expectations that come along with having a dad that was the kind of football player that your dad was, but then also to go along with that, you're the top quarterback in the nation. How do you manage those expectations? I guess, you know, there might be some young, young recruits that are listening. What would be your advice on on how to manage those expectations? I think you try not to pay attention to those expectations because I believe, you know, from my growing up, you know, you pay attention to expectations. You're going to miss, you're going to miss all those steps and all those memories and, and all of those those moments that, that you cherish, you know, with your teammates if you're focused on that on that end goal rather than focusing on every step of that journey and understanding, you know, you, you have a lot of people that, that are pulling for you and you have a lot of people that aren't. So filtering that out and really just and just trusting your family that they have their best interests in mind for you. Um, and I think, you know, I think the biggest thing on that one is that you have to, you have to just enjoy the journey. You know, you, you look too far ahead, you'll get lost in the mix. If you if you if you're not staying up to, you know, what you need to, you'll get lost as well. So I think you just got to stay the journey. Trust trust the people that you trust, and, and trust the coaching staff. Great perspective. Well, we saw a lot of young wide receivers making plays for this offense last season. A lot of those guys coming back. How excited are you about some of the weapons you're going to get to throw the ball around to? I think it's be a lot of fun. You know. These guys work hard. They they made a lot of plays. They played a lot of football last year. Um, I think I'm just most excited to, to get in there and and go to work with them. I think that that's what makes football so great is you get to go to work with your guys um, day in and day out, um, earn their respect that way, um, and you know that that they're gonna want to put a lot of work in, and so am I. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. There's a lot of weapons. Um, and you know they're 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 ready to go. All right, just got a few fun questions for you to close this this interview out. Who was your favorite player or athlete any sport growing up? Um, growing up, I mean, I would say still say I'm growing up, so I really like Patrick Mahomes. You know, I try to model my game after him. Okay, favorite cereal? Fruity Pebbles, easy. <laughs> easy. <laughs> easy. You didn't even have to think about that one. Uh, favorite hobby outside of football? I I do love cutting hair. Cut my brother's hair, my dad's hair, a bunch of my teammates' hair, um, and really just hanging out with my family. You know, cutting hair is fun. Get to enjoy my my brother and my dad, um, and, and you know, hanging out with my family is a lot of fun. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, that's... All right, Spotify Wrapped. Who's your number one artist? Oh, my favorite artist, um, I would say, would be uh, Rod Wave or um, Luke Combs. Awesome. All right, last question. Rank these cookie flavors. All right, I got four for you. Four, fourth being the worst, uh, first being the best. Chocolate chip, peanut butter, oatmeal raisin, macadamia nut. Okay. Um, oatmeal raisins, easily fourth. I'm not a fan <laughs> of those. Chocolate I agree. Chip, I agree. I'll go one with chocolate chip. Macadamia nut, I'll go two. And peanut butter, three. Oh, Awesome. A lot of fun, great perspective. Appreciate your time and enjoy it. I know it's been a long journey for you, but uh, congratulations, and we can't wait to see you here on campus in Lincoln. Thank you so much for having me. Go Big Red.